Greetings, everyone. I hope you are all doing well. Before I get into this week's topic, would you please, would you oh so kindly follow me on Odyssey? Link is in the description. Okay, so let's get into this week's topic. So this week, I want to mention on my Odyssey, I've added three more videos. And by the time you see this, I'll probably have added the entire set of um, five, there's five videos that are very, very interesting. They all, so in, in um, this, this video is probably, this video series I'm mentioning that I'm putting on Odyssey. Gosh, it was probably made like 30 plus years ago. And you think, well, gosh, that's irrelevant. That was 30 years ago. That doesn't, oh, that doesn't have anything to do with what's going on today. Uh, no, it has quite a lot to do with what's going on today. So if you're interested in kind of learning about why everything is happening right now, you want to know more about this kind of great reordering, all of this chaos that seems to be occurring, well, it's all, spoiler alert, it's all related to the economy. Um, but if you want to know more, kind of, if you want to think a little deeper about and get some insights from scientists, from spiritual leaders, from artists, from very interesting, um, deep, and well thought out uh, people, well, um, there's this series that's going to be on, uh, that I'm putting on my uh, Odyssey channel. I think it's on YouTube as well, but I'm just going to put it on Odyssey because I think it, it really needs to be, um, it's really worth your time. And so go check that out. You can find that series uh, on the last, like, it'll be the last, like, five videos I put up. Also, while we're on this topic of this great reordering, this great default that is coming, that's, that's will uh, hopefully not be accompanied by some uh, escalating uh at least wars that are, are um, going on, they're not going, hopefully they won't escalate and get any larger. But if you check out The Greatest Truth Never Told uh, from Chris Duane, that was um, put out in 2015, he offers a very um, elegant view on why the West is in the shape that it's in today what you can actually do about it because that's really uh so important because with all of the coming changes and um you know all of the things that are happening in the world and you think well gosh all these things are happening at the same time it's not a coincidence okay um as Ilya uh progroni um, Prigogine, Ilya Prigogine. It's a difficult last name to pronounce. As Ilya Prigogine uh, has stated in his books and in this video series, Art Meets Science and Spirituality in a Changing Economy, that's on, uh, that I'm reposting. It's not my work, obviously. I'm just reposting it on my Odyssey channel. He describes chaos as a type of order. And this is exactly what's happening where there's a, you see the power structures or the power structure is losing the, the, the old way of doing things, the old paradigm, um, the circus uh, coupon system of currency that's reaching its, uh, it's going back to zero. That's not, uh, that's not a bug, it's a feature. So, uh, and it's been expected for a long time and mathematically it's an inev it's inevitable all fiat currencies go back to zero. So this great default that is and will occur um, and it's, there's going to be a lot of pain, there's going to be a lot of, unfortunately, there's going to be a lot of suffering, a lot of death, a lot of chaos. All this is coming. Um, but that's, you know, that process represents order in the sense that there's going to be a shuffling, reshuffling of the deck, okay? And the power structure is going to change radically and that's going to affect all of our lives. So, I mean, you can kind of just smoke hopium and pretend like 
you know, these changes aren't coming, but everyone can see them at this point. I mean, I've been talking about it and preparing for it for the past 15 years. Um, even before it was on my radar, people were talking about these changes. Even before I was born, people were talking about these changes, knowing that this is going to happen eventually in this great reordering uh, process, this reshuffling of the deck. We just happen to be, now this isn't anything um, new in human history. It's only that our lives are so short that we don't really have a concept of these patterns that occur. Okay, maybe every three, four generations or so, 80 to 100 years, there's this cycle, maybe 120 years. There's this cycle that occurs, uh, especially has been occurring, let's say historically, for the past 400 or so years, 500 years, when we're talking about the, uh, the cycle of economies and, and um, these sorts of things as far as like re reshuffling of the power structure, who is in charge of the currency system, for example, right? That's, that's really what we're talking about. And this is everything that's happening. Um, people at high levels are understanding, well, if we just position ourselves in such a way uh, that once the uh, circus coupon circus coupon system uh, goes to zero, which it will, and the the great default happens, um, then those who have been those who have prepared themselves to some degree will be in a position uh, to benefit from that. Okay, um, every this is, so for those who are prepared, if you prepare yourself, this is basically. Uh, and and th this isn't a chance to like dick over your fellow human beings, right? Or um, that's not what I'm talking about. This isn't a chance to become like some warlord and, and step on people's heads, okay? This isn't about that at all, okay? Um, you know, force and violence and that kind of stuff really, as as this timeline progresses in human history, Force and violence have become less appealing over time, okay? Even 100 years ago, it was surprisingly acceptable to, you know, if some kind of uprising were to happen, the government comes out and they kill a bunch of people, people will just accept, well, that's just how it is and there's nothing we can do about it, right? Um, you, could say, you could say that about slavery, about labor unions, about women's rights, um, any kind of uprising that shook the foundations of the status quo, that, that, that threatened the power structure, okay, were responded to with violence, were responded to with uh, some real ugliness. That's not really, uh, I think people are really seeing some of the violence and ugliness in the world, speaking out against genocide in Gaza, for example, speaking out against this proxy war that the United States and Europe, you know, the banker, the banking establishment have uh, launched against Russia through this proxy war in Ukraine to try to, you know, drain Russia's resources and eventually find a way to get a Western friendly leader they can buy, <laughs> a corrupt leader that they can then buy. And because, you know, um, until that happens, Russia's evil, Putin's bad, and every, you know, but, in, but as soon as they get a, uh, if they can install a leader that they can buy, they can purchase and prostitute out, then all of a sudden we're friends with Russia and and all of the corporations can move into the Arctic and move into Russia and, and have their deals again and have their corruption. But until that time, Putin's a bad guy and the war in Ukraine is justified. And, you know, everything that they tell you, the establishment media, everything's upside down, essentially. So it's in, you know, the thing is that people just don't really accept the violence as much as they used to. And that's a good thing, right? 
human consciousness is expanding and evolving in such a way that this kind of ugliness is not really accepted like it used to be. It's not, um, you know, and I still hear a lot of people say, well, there's always been war, there's always going to be war. That's actually, um, that's only because you accept it, okay? Even if you're in the minority and you say that, you know, there has to be another way, and even if you sound, however, however, if you sound naive to these people or stupid or whatever, you're still in the right, okay? And that's a really what matters most. Even if your voice doesn't seem like it's um, popular, that who gives a shit? That doesn't matter, okay? That doesn't matter. What matters is truth, reason, <laughs> right? Just doing the right thing, standing up and speaking out against all of this ugliness, all of this violence, right? And so what we see happening is, you know, all of the abuses, especially of like, let's say the American military around the world, right? Securing resources in all these countries, saying we're fighting for freedom, we're helping the people of Iraq and Afghanistan because we care about them, and we're in all these places around the world securing freedom. Well, that's bullshit. It's just because we're stealing resources, right? We're propping up the dollar and forcing these countries. You know, if you, you know, the dollar has been weaponized against countries for many decades. It isn't just a new thing, right? So all this plate spinning of abuse and atrocities and death and destruction, it's coming to an end, right? The West can no longer maintain its, uh, you know, its global financial system at the at the barrel of a gun, right? It can no longer maintain that. And so combined, you know, this fact combined with the fact that most people in the West really abhor violence, right? This 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 violence of uh, the state, right, against uh, individuals who can't defend themselves, right? This bombing of hospitals and killing, you know, we're talking about nearly 200,000 now, 200,000, you know, men, women, and children, not, we're not talking about a military, but we're talking about civilians, right? This ugliness in the world. Well, this is all happening because the power center is being challenged and it's actually falling down. Okay, the globalist uh, hegemony is really, <laughs> it's, they're very desperate. So look to see, so, you, so what you're going to see is even more chaos as they get, because they're not going to just let go of this, right? They're not going to let go of their uh, power, obviously. Well, uh, what we saw last week, last Saturday, right? You know what I'm talking about? Um that's they're not going to stop they're not going to stop the ones in power now will not stop to try to take out those who are threatening their power now at the top you know the the there's there's different there's competing interests and the power structures being challenged in many different ways i don't really have any skin in the game as far as that's concerned and i don't really want to see any violence on either you know however many sides there are there's more than two sides um I don't really want to see any violence, but I think if we just kind of understand what's happening, it's less scary, isn't it? If we understand this is what's happening, and this is something that has occurred over and over again throughout human history. So this isn't anything that's like, oh my goodness, all these things are happening, and it's never happened before, and oh my gosh, what are the chances, and this is crazy, what do we do, right? If you're in that mode and you don't have a sense of like, this is actually a normal part, this is a normal reordering cycle when, when one power structure loses its hegemony and is, or is challenged and starts to fall apart, well, that's just a, chaos is a, is a form of order, right? It's a reordering process. So prepare yourself because it's going to get a lot more wild because the old structure, the old power paradigm, they're not going to just 
let go. Oh, you know, gosh, we've we had a good run. We, you know, we had a good run of abusing all these nations for so long and, and, and trading worthless pieces of paper, circus coupons for natural resources and oil and gold and, you know, all this stuff and then selling. And then now they're going to start, you know, the, the, the new scam that they're going to try to get out there is this carbon tax thing, right? They've already got the satellite surveillance system all the way across the um, uh, South America that's pretty that's it's not really talked about obviously uh on on the globalist media but it's pretty well known that they're trying to tax all these developing nations so that they're this is just another scam and people really just aren't going for it um and so what i'm what i want to invite you to do is just go to and you can look this up on youtube but but really <laughs> i go to odyssey um my i have no skin in the game i mean my channel's not monetized on youtube it's not monetized on odyssey i just like odyssey um you know it's just you know google and youtube for you know for what it is it's just it's just getting creepier and creepier and they're part of that power structure they want to hold on so desperately and so you know i i, I don't anticipate um my channel being acts you know being on uh, youtube for I don't know how much longer, but, um, so I invite you to go to my, uh, Odyssey channel. There you'll find the greatest truth never told. It's a 20 part series done by Chris Duane. I did some commentary on it. You can watch it if you want. I add some extra details to that. That's a very enlightening series. So I would go watch that. Also watch, uh, art and science meet spirituality in a changing economy. That's a five part series and i've got three of those videos i'll have two of those uh two more of those up so i'll have all five up soon i'd love to read your comments if you have any comments about all these changes that are happening in the world and the great default that is going to happen and you know there's going to be it's going to get really ugly unfortunately please prepare yourself please pray for peace meditate do all of these things um, you know, there may be, a, a quite a, quite an expanded, uh, you know, on, there's going to be more civil unrest in the United States, more civil unrest in Europe. And really a lot of countries around the world are starting to ask, well, why are, why are our leaders not sticking up for this, these, you know, uh, people in Gaza, the Palestinians? why is this happening and why are we tolerating this right and i think people are really waking up to this um this idea that you know violence really on any scale really just shouldn't be we shouldn't tolerate that you know and yes the power the old power structures are going to be the old power structure is going to be clinging on to what it has and there's going to be a lot of violence associated that with that you know when the power structure has what it wants violence is very minimal it's only when you challenge the power structure well now the power structure is being challenged in a massive way so the violence is going to be massive the violence will be commensurate with the um you know they're 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 in um they're they're entering a desperation mode right and what they're hoping is most people are just going to be siloed off in their little internet pod of echo chamber of things that they like and that when things happen and people are going to be scared and confused then they're going to take the deal that they're offered which is going to be a bad deal for you it's going to be a bad deal you'll take the deal that you're offered because you haven't prepared you're confused you're scared you don't know what to do and so the voice and you know the 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 talking head on the screen will give you instructions on what you're supposed to do <laughs> and it's going to be okay we're going to give you you know we're going to give you this new deal well i'm i'm just telling you it's a bad deal and it's going to it's only going to prolong the inevitable demise of the current power structure so um I think that's all for this week. Have yourself a wonderful, wonderful day, and I will talk to you. I'll see you next time.